Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look that you can only purchase in the great state of Texas. This is a 2022 Highland Ridge Silver Star Model 378 RBS. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're going to give you three things we love about the Silver Star and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited today to show you a unit that has kind of never been on the show, the Silver Star. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. Yeah, Matt, like you said, we can you can only get this in the state of Texas, but it's very similar to the Open Range. It's a sister product. Yes. Um, that you can get pretty much anywhere. Yep, exactly. No, you can get the Highland Ridge Open Range anywhere, yep. but they label it the Silver Star. You know why, Will? Because it's Texas. That's why. Yep. And if you guys have any problems with that, call Texas. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Will, let's begin. Model is 378 RBS Silver Star. The actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 43 feet long. The dry weight is 12,795 pounds and the hitch weight is 2,490 pounds. Will, let's get started up front with the fiberglass front cap. Okay. It looks absolutely beautiful. It does. Again, I love the Silver Star. That is so Texas. The only thing on Milson is a big belt buckle and a cowboy hat. That's right. Doing this review. Right up front here, this is very different. We have the Rhino box pin box from Lipper. Yeah. I don't like that, do you? No, I don't either. It doesn't make sense. Why? So. They only did the Rhino box for a short period of time, I think. And I think they've stopped using it, if, if I remember correctly. Okay, I'm not sure, but when I see the Rhino boxes, I see them on the small stuff. Yep, half tons, small right. mid pros. Right, like like that one, that's a Silver Star XLT or whatever. That's a lot smaller one, I'm fine with that. But on a big unit like this, I do not like this. I recommend getting the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Yeah. For sure. Underneath here, we do got cutouts and, and wiring, so it is prepped for a generator. And here's what I love, Will. These, whoa, these are the JT strong arms from Lipper. They sure are. Uh, and what this does is on the auto leveling, um, it, it doesn't stabilize you super well. Right. These you twist in and it locks into place. It just makes your fifth wheel a lot more stable sure when does. you're parked at the campground. Right underneath here, we do got your propane tanks. Yep. And yeah, the reason why, is it four or six point? Uh, six. Okay, it is six point electric auto leveling. That's so funny. We were talking about that at lunch. Yep. Right? Um, so yeah, six point, but it is electric. Right over here, you got a tiny little bit of storage. Not much at all. Not much, no. Right over here, Will, we do got the Lippert solid steps. Not hydraulic assisted, but they are the nice solid steps. We love them. Makes it easy to get in and out of the fifth wheel. Okay. Nice grab handle there. Yeah. And here's stickers. Four season protection package, Will. Highland Ridge Open Range has one of the best insulated RVs on the they market do, today. They do, yes. Uh, also, they have the Kia-like system from Lippert, which means nobody's going to have your master key. They're all going to be a specific key to your unit mm -hmm. and a three-year structural warranty. Coming on down the side here. Look at these tires, Will. They're the Rainier ST tires. I love those. ST 235-85 R16 with the Dexter axles right there. Cool, cool. Very nice, and then check this out, Will, on a couple Smith wheel. Oh, wow, first, wow. That's a lot of storage there. Huge storage, that's Texas size storage. That though. is. That is very nice, but this is what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. When I first saw this unit, I'm like, oh, let's do a bunkhouse, but well, it's not a bunkhouse. Wow. This is a couple's unit. Right here, we do got your uh, little refrigerator here. Okay. Actually, pretty decent size. Right here, we got some storage countertop a sink that's plumbed through this right here a little suburban uh cooktop right there and what's this here a little cutting board yeah yes sir a little cutting board here for your big old texas steak yes sir for a uh for a tomahawk steak. that's right that's the only way to do it very nice kitchen on the outside and then coming around the back will 
Again, here's that. Oh, Ooh. you all right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't get hit. Here's the other side of that storage right there. Okay. Held up by. Oh, that's that crap. Did it break? Oh, that is so stupid. It's supposed to magnet in. It, it oh, must be it, broken. Is it supposed to clip it on? Yeah. Magnet? Okay, good. I was about to say, very dumb. Um, but I'm glad that it's supposed to do it like that. Uh, not made for towing, 300 pound hitch. And there is a ladder first, prep for a few round backup camera. Okay. And there is a ladder to get up on the one piece PVC roof. That's what Highland Ridge does. Well, let's go up there and take a look. All right. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece PVC roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right up there, it's a King Air digital antenna. And you can see over there that it is prepped for solar. Here we go now. Be careful. Here we go. That's the last step. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen climbing his fat ass up on the Silver Star in the Lone Star State? Nobody. America. Finishing up, water heater right over here. Here's where you're dumping your tanks. Other side of the storage well. Let's see if that one works. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Dude, no, you're wrong. That's, That's stupid. Dumb. That's stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Hmm. That is really dumb. Because I thought the magnet was supposed to pull that in. Right. I don't know. Well, we'll talk about it. Yeah. 50 amp service right here. There's another place where you dump your tank. It's going to be access panels. And then here is this is nice here's yeah. your water hookup and everything black tank flush potable water fill potable potable fresh water connection outdoor shower okay and the other side of storage we well well the outside of silver star looks great but the inside looks even better let's go take a look all right oh and prep for the side cameras furion nice check out the inside okay All right, up front is the front living area. In the middle is the kitchen dining area. In the back is the bedroom. And all the way in the back is the bathroom. Where are we starting today? Oh, we're starting up front here, Will. All right. Oh, but before we do, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, Lipper. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kurt A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring yes, this video. Let's continue the video. Okay, well, so getting started up front here, it's very dark in here. Yeah. We got the lights on y'all. Very dark tones, dark colors. I know a lot of people love that. Um, especially since a lot of manufacturers are gravitating towards that lighter look. It's nice to have some of the alternative. Yes. Do got daytime shades and privacy shades. Very dark valances right over here. Dark theater seats. Okay. Not theater seats, dark sofa. Trifold. Yes. Right over here, Will. You can see that you do have the dark trifold as well. Let me uh, put this out for everyone. Okay. So you guys can see what these look like. Both this sofa and that sofa do this. Okay. Drop that down. Very, very nice. Cool. And again, both of them do it. So you can actually sleep two up here. You know, technically four if they're skinny, but these are a little bit more narrow sofas 
They're not the three cushions, they're the two cushions. Right. And then we'll show us that storage, please. Okay. On both sides of the TV, got a little bit of storage. Got this whole shelf here. Storage down below. This TV does flip up. Put a little more storage underneath. Here's the other side. And a little bit more, your sound bar, Furion sound bar, Greystone microwave and everything. Well, that's a fireplace, it's not a microwave. Did I say microwave? You sure did. And <laughs> look at the curvature in that right. fireplace. Right. That's interesting. Weird. I don't know the appeal. Maybe it looks more real. I don't know. But here's what I do know. The TV entertainment center is directly across from the theater seats. I got USB right here. Right here you can have these little tables or whatever. Heated seats and massage seats, very nice. Yes. And uh, it is overall just a really nice upper living room area. Yes. Then coming on down the steps, we can see, oh, it's this type of seat with the guest seat or whatever. Okay. Oh, interesting. Look, look, look at what they're doing. Yeah, I see that here. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, I was worried that my legs would get in the way of this, but they're not. Okay. Which is good. It's a good height. Plenty of fat boy yeah. space. Nice big windows here. This is a very nice dinette. I it wasn't is. expecting that. And what this is, this is a little extension in case you have guests, you know? Mm hmm Like they're not gonna be comfortable, nor are they supposed to be comfortable. <laughs> you want you don't want them freeloading and taking the whole vacation sleeping on your couch like I'm doing. You want them to be uncomfortable so where they don't wanna stay. That's right. Uh, but really nice dinette. I love the big windows and everything. And again, guys, very nice how many daytime shades and privacy shades. I mean, you can really black out this unit for sure. Yeah, you can. Will, would you like to show us the kitchen? Of course. Before I do, I want to give a quick reminder. We are now partnered with RV retailers, so we are nationwide. If you're looking at this unit, we can help you in taxes. Uh, but if you're looking for this floor plan and basically this exact unit with the open range stickers on it, uh, we can help you anywhere. Just go to our website, mattsreviewreviews.com, and we'll make sure to help you out. Couldn't have said it better myself, Sir William. Cool. Over here, um, like a little shelf on top, nice little coffee bar. You could probably do a taco bar with this. It's not very deep. Yeah. But you can make it work. No, that's definitely taco bar worthy, Will. Yeah. Um, all your control panels there. Everything's nice and power. A couple drawers all along. And some cabinetry. Yes. Couple more. Mm. A little bit more storage. So nice. Over here, some storage up top. Yes. Nice Whirlpool residential refrigerator. You know, open range is putting side. in the residentials before everybody. Were they? Yep. A little bit of storage here, all around the convection microwave. Right so there. nice. Good window on your non camping side, right in front of your four burner insignia cooktop. Yes. Good counter space on both sides. Yes. Nice little spice rack. Mm hmm. Uh, apartment size residential uh, oven right there. Turkey tested? Turkey approved. No, <laughs> we'll do that again. You ready? Turkey tested? Turkey approved. <laughs> oh, okay. I wanted some more excitement, Will. Oh, sorry. Turkey approved. <laughs> Storage there. Yes, sir. And then on this island, it's pretty much just the sink. We got a nice little spray faucet there. A little bit of counter space on both sides. Nice big single bowl sink. But look, it is kind of like a farmhouse right kind there. It is, yeah. Right? It's a little weird. Hey! Oh, that's a $104 trash can. It sure is. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, little sponge holder. Couple drawers. A little more storage and one more drawer right there. I love it, man. I love it. Now, this, I believe, is a pantry. Okay. It is. Oh, very nice. So, sometimes they do the half baths here. Right. But that's a nice big pantry. I like that. I like it, man. Look at how much space you can fit in yes. there. Yes. Definitely one of the best features about this unit. Cool. Cool. Coming on up. Right over here, Will. You can actually count this for pantry space as well. Yeah. Or wardrobe space, really. I mean... If you can't fit everything you want in that pantry, God help you. Right. You know? Up here, we do got a very nice king size bed with windows around it. Storage above there. Storage above there. Yep. And then show that AC unit, Will. 
Right that there? is the Whisper Quiet air conditioning unit. Was there two or three? Uh, there was two. Yeah, that's interesting. Yep, there was two. Right, right over here, we got windows and windows. Yep. And then I'll show that wardrobe space over there. Did we get this one already? Nope. Nice Huge. wardrobe space there. And here. Yes. This whole like side of the wall in the bedroom is all storage. Yes. TV, window, a couple drawers. Right here. A little more storage space there. So nice. And underneath here. Very nice, Will. Yeah. Very nice. Now let me see if there's storage underneath this bed. I bet there is. Bet you a dollar. There, there you go. Cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then finishing up with this massive master bathroom. Prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. Very nice. Over here, we have tons of sink space. Look at all this medicine you can put in here. Right. Medicine for days. <laughs> Double sinks. I love that. Yeah. Little uh, little action there. Little drawer there. Okay. Same on this side, same on that side. And then, well, this looks like it could have been one of the primest. Yeah. But they put it too close to this. I mean, don't get me wrong. Undisputed. Okay. Undisputedly, this is a prime poop position. Ding! But again, if they put it more over here, it would have been the primest of right. poop positions. And then to wrap it all up, guys, Will is six foot three. Stand in that shower, see if you fit. Okay, it is an Encore one-piece fiberglass. You know how we feel about the Encore showers. Yep, it passes. If it wasn't for this dome, it wouldn't, but this passes. Ding! That's it's shower test seal of approval. Yep, it's a little small for a fifth wheel, but it, it gets the job done. Right, I mean, they could have definitely moved that over and put yeah. a lot bigger shower sure. or a wider shower. Yep. Well, Will, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is, but first, we have to give everybody three things we love about this unit and three things we dislike about it, Will. What do we do first? Three things we love? Yes. Okay. You go first. Okay. And actually, you give me all three. You mean give all three? Yeah, because I'm giving you all three dislikes. Mm, I actually have more dislikes. Me too. Okay. Well, I'll go first. Okay. First thing, I love the king size bed, but overall, I do oh, love yeah. this bathroom. I don't know why I was missing this when we were standing in it. Yes. It is a great bathroom. You know, having the washer dryer in here out yep. of the way of everything else. There's plenty of room to get change in here. Plenty of counter space, plenty of cabinet space. So I love yeah. that. That's number one. Okay. Do you have a number two? Because uh, I, I can give you number two. Go ahead. Dang, Will. Will, you're slipping. I know. I'm catching you, though. You spilt the water. I'm here to <laughs> clean you up. Will, the best feature about this unit, this huge pantry, Hell Will. Oh, yeah. You could live for months without going to the grocery store in this thing. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic and phenomenal. And this is one of the features that I truly love about this unit. Okay. That's number two. And then, well, do you have a number three? Sure. Because I can give you number three. Okay, I, I got this one. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Um, this dinette, actually, for front livings, usually the dinettes in these suck. Yeah. Um, but you had plenty of room when you were sitting here. You did. So well, I did. I, I thought, um, yeah, I think they did a good job with this, Diane. That's number three. And, well, you know what? We're going to do a bonus number three. Okay. Because all my dislikes are outside. Well, yeah, right here. Number three, Will. I love the JT Strong Arms. And that is, it's not because it's made by Lippert. I really don't care who JT Strong Arm is. Yeah. I don't care about JT or, or whatever. his arm. Yeah, I don't care about <laughs> his arm. But uh, living in Will's fifth wheel for the last four or five days with them. Uh, when Will wakes up in the morning at the front of the fifth wheel, I am shaking like crazy sleeping on his couch in the back of the fifth wheel. Vice versa, he knows when I get up uh, out of bed because it's shaking the whole fifth wheel. Yep. Those JT strong arms do an amazing job keeping it more stable. And I just can't wait for a uh, limper to send Will some on his fifth wheel so we'll be more comfortable. Yes. Great, so that's three things we like about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like. Will. Oh, dislike number one. Do you, wait, wait, before we do that, do you have a strong dislike? Because I have three strong ones. No, go ahead. Okay. I hate the darkness on the inside. Yeah. Very, very dark and drowsy and a little bit depressing in there. Um, but again, that's just a 100% an opinion. Not everybody likes the bright white and the farmhouse and this and that. That's very Some true. Some people do like that conventional darker look. Not a fan of that. Okay. That's number one. 
What was number two and three? Maybe this? Was it that? Yeah, you talked about that. Yeah, the Rhino box. And it'd be a good question for JD. He would probably know better. But I just feel like with how small this is, you know, your surface contact right. to the fifth wheel hitch is very low. I would imagine that it makes um, for a less st smooth, stable ride with that. I would imagine as well. That's funny. So Lippert product was part of our positive and negative. Yeah. Oh, was it back here? Was it these clippy things? <laughs> yeah, these clips wouldn't be the end of the world if they like went in on their own. But the fact that you have to push it in for it to hold, it's actually dumb when you're trying to like load it up and everything. Right. You yeah. want me to give like a 3.5? Uh, yeah, because I don't remember it. Do you? No, but in this bathroom, um, there's double bowl sinks and tons of counter space, but then the sinks are like this big. Got and it. We've learned um, from spending so much time in our fifth wheel that it's hard to like wash your face, brush your teeth. You just make a mess all over the counter. And they had the room to do bigger sinks, but they didn't. Got it. I love that. Okay. And that's all based off experience. Yeah. Well, Will, do you know what time it is now? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this unit is $114,517. Will, that is MSRP. Sale price, we have now partnered with RVR. Do you know why? Not to sell it to you at MSRP, that's right. Why. We did that so we can make sure that we get everybody a phenomenal deal, great service, and the best buying of an RV experience in the entire RV industry. So all you guys gotta do is go to mattsrvreviews.com Click the contact tab. Let us know you want a Silver Star. Let us know you want an open range. I don't know if they do the Mesa Ridge anymore, but regardless, well, if you want this unit, we can help you. Go to mattsrvreviews.com, click that first contact tab, and we're here to help. Will, is there anything you want to say? Yeah, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love front living fifth wheels, um, and I think this one really looked great. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching, and Will, we'll see you next time.